Well, GMO is one of the most misunderstood concepts. GMO means, I, I think it's better to illustrate first, uh, that ordinarily farmers have certain desires. For example, you might desire higher milk yield in your cow, but your cow does not produce enough milk. You are aware of certain uh, breeds that produce more milk than your cow, such as Frisian, and you have Andama, which is uh, indigenous to Africa. So you could breed these two to get better milk production. Now, in some cases, that crossbreeding is not possible. For example, maize. Maize is susceptible to corn borer, but maize does not have a system for producing toxin that can deal with the stock borer. You're aware that we have bacteria even in our tummies, and they are useful. They live there, and they have never caused any problem to us. There is one of them that lives in the soil called Bacillus thuringiensis, which has the capacity to produce some toxin. And that toxin has been tested to be very target specific and can kill the stock borer. Now, a bacterium and maize cannot crossbreed. So what is done in a case like that is that we use latest technologies to transfer not the whole bacterium, not even the whole gene of a bacterium, but a promoter segment of a gene. A promoter segment is a, an area of a gene that helps uh, the gene to produce a protein or to be expressed, let me put it that way. So you are taking a very tiny part of the DNA of that bacterium and infusing into the DNA, not of a maize plant growing in the field, but in a laboratory scale, the DNA of maize. You infuse it in the genome of maize, not a, on maize plant, just the genome in a laboratory scale of maize in the hope that that infusion will enable maize to produce that toxin because it's now been enabled that will keep off the stock borer. When you take DNA from one organism and infuse it into the genome of another organism, we call that transgenic organism that results and that is called genetically modified organism, that's GMO. There are several things that people think are GMO which they are not. One is uh, uh, chicken fed on growth hormones that grow very fast, uh, very big tomato. People associate any very big thing or any fast growing thing to GMO. Most of them are not. GMO must be genetically modified. There must be a purposeful, targeted change in the genome of the organism to be called GMO. That's what it is.